This is a story about how Israel uses trees to ethnically cleanse Palestine. It's a story that involves European pine trees, international celebrities, and if you've ever donated to this little blue box, it involves you too. The story begins in 1948 when Zionist militias forced over 75% of the Palestinian population out of their homes and off their land, emptying and destroying over 500 Palestinian villages. Palestinians called this event the Nakba, which is Arabic for catastrophe. Israelis mark this event as their Independence Day. <laughs> Shortly after the state of Israel was created, the state seized and illegally annexed over 240,000 acres of land. Land and property that was classified as abandoned after its Palestinian owners were forced out and barred from returning. This stolen Palestinian land was transferred to an organization by the name of the Jewish National Fund, or the JNF an international organization with charitable status in countries like the US, Canada, and the UK. But the JNF isn't your average charity. Established in 1901, the JNF has played a key role in the colonization of Palestine, in its early days collecting money for the Zionist movement to buy up Palestinian land for European Jewish colonists, with a mandate to redeem land in Palestine for the purpose of settling Jews. Part of the way the JNF raised money to buy land in Palestine was through these blue tin boxes. By World War II, over one million JNF collection boxes had been distributed to Jewish communities all around the world, with each coin dropped into these blue tin boxes going towards land purchases and tree planting in Palestine. But before the Nakba, the JNF wasn't really that successful. As of May 1948, the JNF had only managed to purchase around 3.56% of the land of historic Palestine. But after the Nakba, through the forcible seizure of Palestinian land, that number rose to 13%, over 600,000 acres of land. And with all this new land at its disposal, the JNF embarked on a massive tree planting drive across occupied Palestine claiming it was planting forests on barren, desolate land, presenting its project to the world as environmentalism, building family-friendly green lungs across the country. Except these green lungs were conveniently built where Palestinian villages and towns once stood, greenwashing Israel's wholesale destruction of Palestinian communities. With the intent of not only concealing their remains, but also using forests to confiscate more stolen Palestinian land. And the JNF's tree of choice? This European pine tree. Instead of planting indigenous trees like the olive tree, which had been on the land for centuries, the JNF instead opted for trees indigenous to Europe, trees that would later prove to be flammable under West Asian heat and extremely detrimental to the land. Why this tree? Well, because settlers didn't just want the land, they also wanted it to look like Europe, transforming the Levantine landscape into something European Jewish settlers would feel at home in. So one by one, Palestinian villages were emptied and destroyed, and man-made forests, nature, and recreational parks filled with highly flammable European pine trees emerged in their place. A lejun became Megiddo Forest, Beit Jiz turned into Rabin Park, and American Independence Park was built on the ruins of seven Palestinian villages. Through the JNF's environmental work, over 250 million trees were planted throughout historic Palestine, covering up the remains of over 500 Palestinian destroyed villages, all thanks to tax-free donations from Jews and non-Jews around the world. With the blue collection box becoming a sentimental icon that represented a connection to the National Zionist Project, with so many people either donating or planting trees, from politicians of today like Kamala Harris. I fondly remember those Jewish National Fund boxes that we would use to collect donations to plant trees for Israel. To iconic celebrities like Frank Sinatra and Elizabeth Taylor, all complicit in greenwashing. But behind the photo ops and little blue boxes is the truth of what lay beneath these forests. 
Today, more than two-thirds of all JNF parks are built on destroyed Palestinian villages. That's 46 out of 68 national parks. The JNF continues to operate in countries around the world, using tax-free donations to not only cover up the crimes of the past, but to steal more and more Palestinian land today, in places like the Nakab Desert, where the JNF is working now with the state of Israel to use forestation or the process of planting trees to evict Palestinian Bedouins from their lands and replace them with Jewish settlers, all under the guise of making the desert bloom. This story, and so many others like it, is a reminder of how even the most innocent things, like trees or charities that plant trees, when used by colonial entities like Israel, are often just a cover-up for something much more sinister. This one just happens to be a cover-up that's been 76 years in the making. <laughs>